The P in scope is for pendulate, as in a pendulum. And rhythm is inherent in everything in the universe, from our cells to the tides, phases of the moon. Even in the entire universe, there is a sense that there is a rhythm. So what we want to do is invite rhythm back into our nervous system. So these rhythms are rhythms of expansion and contraction, acceleration and slowing down. And we can do this, we can invite the nervous system to regain its natural pendulation between activation and settling by um, shifting awareness. It's as simple as that, shifting awareness. And you can do this at the level of thought. Let's say you are having a negative thought that everything is awful. And you might try to remember, wait, is there one thing in this day or in the last week that I can remember that is less awful, that is maybe even pleasant, helpful. And then allow your mind to think about that or think of an opposite thought. Even though things seem awful right now, there are also things that are helpful. There are people that are helpful. And that alone may begin to shift things, but it might be easier to take it into the body by becoming aware of parts of your body that are open, at ease, in flow. Um, if you experience pain, for example, noticing, magnifying the places in your body that don't feel pain and then shifting awareness briefly to the part of the body that does feel pain or that feels tense or tight and then moving awareness back away from that area to areas of the body that feel better. And just by this movement of awareness, you might begin to notice, at least I've experienced it myself and had people report, that the area of pain or tension begins to become less tense and sometimes the pain even disappears. So it might seem miraculous, but what's happening is as you move attention away, there's blood flow can return to those areas, the muscles begin to start to loosen, tissues begin to open up, so it's really quite explainable by science. So try pendulating awareness in the body. You can also pendulate awareness from the body to the outside, something beautiful in the outside, a beautiful image, and then back to the inside. And um, you can also do this in image. So let's say uh, you have a, a potent image uh, that is causing you stress, you can think of an opposite image or come back to the present moment and notice what is helpful and safe and protective right now. So it's not that we avoid. This is a dialectical balance between you know, what is calling our attention that is making our stress increase exponentially and something that is more helpful. But we come back. As long as it's helpful, we come back, we touch into the emotional pain or the painful memory or image and then return to what is more helpful. And so in order to help the nervous system, we might give 90% of our attention to what we might call the counter to the thing that is causing us distress in order to really help shift our brain away from its bias to what is negative or threatening. 
So enjoy and thank you for joining.